Hey, howdy everybody, and welcome back to part 5 of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Let's Play. Last time we uh, finished up here at the gym and got our badge. And now we're going to start heading north here, and uh, start catching a ton of Pokemon. Because I have seen uh, quite a few that I want on my team already, and I'm really concerned because, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I think there's too many Pokemon I want on my team to actually, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, make possible. But we're going to try our best. Uh, actually, we probably should battle that trainer, but before then... Uh, what's that? Is that shiny? Probably not. What is it? A capsicid? I can't tell what it's supposed to be, uh, but I haven't seen it before. I have been uh, doing quite a bit of off-screen stuff, but uh, yeah, no worries. We're gonna get back on track right now. So I'll see you guys after uh, I decide what I want to do with this thing. And just up here we found some rock rough. I'm not sure if I can get one with own tempo. Um, I'm gonna try. Let's see what happens. Oh, and uh, during our trying for a own temple uh, rock rough, our Meryl's evolving actually, so pretty cool. It's our first fully evolved Pokemon. I didn't know it evolved so early, you know. I thought it uh, needed to be like level 30 or something, so it's kind of cool. Water Fairy, though, nice. And we have found the precursor, Char Cadet. Um, I'm actually really low health, so we're gonna try to do the sleep real quick. <laughs> My guy wasn't on the, the dragon. What? <laughs> oh no. Yikes. One turn of sleep. That sucks. And my guy. And my guy is missing. Oh, bye rods. Bye bye. And I've actually backtracked here to go pick up one of the Neopet Pokemon because uh, I think they have Intimidate and that can help me uh, narrow down my search for uh, uh, own tempo rock rough pretty well. And yeah, just over here, I've actually found a Riolu. I don't think I'm going to get it though because I have used it quite a bit lately on my team, so... But there it is if you need it, or want it. There's also a Scyther over there that's like terrestrialized, and I don't really want to mess with it, because I also don't want that either. Um, still on the hunt for one of those Neopet Pokemon or something with Intimidate. And we have found a Mashif with uh, Intimidate, so that's always good. And now we can heal up at the Pokemon Center after catching it, and I guess go back to grinding Rockruff. Yo, an Eevee! Sweet. Yo, I think I just found my first shiny Pokemon. It's a shiny Skiddo! Yo! <laughs> I guess I've got to have it on my team now, yeah? But yeah, I guess we're going to have Skiddo on the team. Because we found a shiny Pokemon, so of course that's what we do. Okay, so we have found an own temple. And it's female! Nice! I really wanted that. So let's hope we don't crit and knock it out here with a, uh, a bite. Alright, and we have come out of the West Gate now, again, looking for uh, the other Sarah Ledge pre-evolution spawn, uh, simply because I want to try to synchronize it to have a good nature, or a nature I think is good for it. I don't know if it actually is, but look, we got a whole new like set of Pokemon out here too. We've got uh, Shinx, Rookie D, a lot of, you know, cowboy, Pokemon cowboy favorites here. Wow. Um, again, just so many Pokemon I want to use, but I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. Like, I, I don't even think I'm going to use Skiddo now, because I like, there's other Pokemon I'd rather use, you know what I mean? But let's try to find this uh, other spawn, and I'll try to uh, save and synchronize. Oh, and we are getting a phone call as we approach through Area 3 here. Um, hey, Cody. So from what I gather, the Stony Cliff Titan likes to lurk somewhere in the rocky area. I had to look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's way up high on a cliff or something? Nah, it's impossible. I don't think I'd be hiding somewhere that tricky. So don't go falling off any cliffs or anything trying to find uh, somewhere too strange. Maybe just uh, give your map a look if you're feeling stumped. It's pretty handy. And yeah, so looks like we're close to where they want us to go for the first, I guess, Titans they called them. But uh, yeah, we're good. Oh, give me ghoul. All right, so we have made it to this location here on the map. Let me just uh, show you a bit. There you go. A little patch of green by the Pokemon Center and I saved. Because, yeah, I am trying to get this synchronized. I don't know if I can or not. I'm going to try, though. Okay, so yeah, after trying to synchronize, um, I guess it counts as one of those static encounters you can't really change because, yeah, it's mild every time I catch it. So And female. Uh, I don't know if I saved a little too late, maybe, uh, to do it. But it does seem to have better stats than the male one we caught, so I'm going to go with it. But I didn't notice it was fire type. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll keep Ralts as well, maybe? We'll have our two uh, a knight Pokemon, I guess. That'd be pretty cool. But that means we also have to pick our 
last Pokemon now, I guess. Um, whether it be Wooper or Azumaru, I'm not really sure yet. Um, and again, we're getting... I was going to use Mistrevis, but um, I now know that we're going to have a Ghost type later on in the team. So I don't want to have two Ghost types. Because I assumed that um, the evolution of this Pokemon would act the same as, um, you know... Gallade for some reason, but it doesn't. Um, I don't know why I thought that. I just did. They kind of have, like, you know, the same kind of thing. Sword hands and whatnot. But no, it's not the same. It's fire um, ghost, so we don't want another ghost type. We already have a fire type, so if we, you know, kind of, kind of, you know, kind of, kind of in situation here, but I think we'll figure it out just fine. I don't know which one I want on my team, though. Um, I might go with a Zoomerill, to be honest, but again, they both have a, they both have the same nature, so it's not even, like, you know, a big thing. All that's really stopping me is, um, because, like, what if, what if, what if Quagsire is, like, better than Azumarill in this game? You know what I mean? So, that's what I'm worried about. Do we have another fairy type, though? Uh, not really, because, yeah, Gardevoir, we're not having Gardevoir on our team. Um, and we're not gonna have a way to deal with dragon types without that, too, so, yeah. Okay, so I think for now I'm just going to keep Wooper on the team instead of Azumarill and switch them out after it evolves. Just because it's so close to evolving anyway. Because, you know, Wooper evolves at level 20 regularly, so I assume it's the same here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go with that. But we are going to take on some uh, Bronzor because we're close by them. And we need them in order to actually uh, evolve our Sarah Ledge. So let's go heal up and then meet up at a Bronzor. I'll actually show you guys the way to a Bronzor location. Just so you're not too lost. If you're following or just, you know want continuity in the <laughs> in the show all right and just like north of the pokemon center here you can see if you head straight down you can actually see the ruins in the distance and i'm gonna go straight there i'm not gonna really do any trainer battles right this second um because yeah oh i thought i thought it was another shiny but i lost my mind but no let's go down here and take on some bronze or i don't know how many we need i think it's like 10 or something to evolve our pokemon but yeah let's take them on Alright, so I found some sort of pink Pokemon. I'm going to check it out, because it's pretty bright. I'm just making sure it's not shiny, pretty much. That's it. And it's not. Tinka, Tink. Goodbye. Alright, so I've redone myself again. Um, I think we're actually going to go to the Grass Gym, because I was going to go to the closest gym over there by the first one. But the Psychic Gym, you need to cross, like, water. And I don't think we can do that yet. I'm not sure when we'll be able to. But I do want to go ahead and get a second Gym Badge. See how much um, we'll be able to, you know have Pokemon listen to us, and yeah. So I'm going to speed all the way there, because again, we're almost at the level cap. I don't want to have Pokemon that don't obey me. And it's a Grass-type gym anyway, so we should be fairly decent against it. And yeah, again, I will see you guys when we are closer. And I swear I won't switch my destination again. Oh, it's a Shiny Shinx! Yo! <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! <laughs> now I want to use that instead! All right, and here we are after two shinies and a, a long path. Uh, we're finally arriving to the next city here. Um, I'm I, I'm pretty sure the gym's here. Um, I hope it's not just like a detour city. Yeah, I see. It's the grass gym. So probably go ahead and take that on this episode. Pretty action-packed, if I do say so myself. Um, got, you know, shiny Skiddo, shiny Shinx. I don't know if I'm going to use either or. Like I said, I really like Flaffy. I really like um, Ampharos, but... Uh, you know, it's Shiny Shinx. It's one of my favorite Shiny Pokemon. I love Luxray. Shinx is one of my favorite Pokemon overall. So I don't know. You know. Uh, I might just keep it. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. You know, should we use Shinx? Should we use Skiddo? Um, but let's enter the gym. Vaya. Cody. Oh, it's a Shroomish over there. Oh, there's so many Pokemon I want to use. It's so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time again. What a weird coincidence. I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go, Oh, weird. <laughs> Might as well battle now that you're here. No, seriously, look, to prove it, I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. Much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokemon. They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. And these, uh, add these to the mix and you'll be 100% set to go. No problem. And we get three Ethers, so getting quite a bit in this game. I don't think they usually give you so many in a Pokemon game. I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train, like, maybe 20 Pokemon or so while you tackle the gym. And yeah, let's see what's up. Welcome to the Artisan Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Cody, yes? Yep. 
great. Now, in order to face gym leader uh, Brassius, you'll need to uh, pass the gym test. Here at the Artisan Gym, that means completing a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. As you may know, Artisan is a city of artists. The artwork made by people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sunflora embody these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find the Sunflora located throughout Artisan. Remember, these Pokemon like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up 10 of them and bring them to the Sunflora lawn, and you'll pass the test. I'll gather the Sunflora lawn's location in your map. I'll, I'll register in your map to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right, and you'll see two large Sunflora statues. Head for those. Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the staffer there will let you, uh, tell you more about the gym test. Now, uh, get out there and have fun. So we take a right into the Sunflora statues. Okay. I was going to use that as well, but again, I just keep finding more and more Pokemon. I think I am going to wait, like last time, uh, and just use Breloom on a competitive team if I do end up using it. But there's so many Pokemon I love in this generation. Like, I I don't know. Like, I have mixed feelings about the game so far. Like, again, it's not really optimized. It's not like, I don't think it was ready to be released, to be honest. But I do like the way that the graphics have increased since the last game. I feel like you can definitely tell that something went awry with Sword and Shield's development based on the way this game looks. Um, but yeah, let's see what... Uh... Oh yeah, ready for some Sunflora. Yeah, I am. Hi there, look at... <laughs> I look after the Artisan Gym's Sunflora. I hope you're ready to challenge her. It's time for a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask Sunflora to spread themselves around town. Sounds like the Sunflora are ready for you. With that, your gym test has now begun. Once you find 10 Sunflora, please bring them back here to the Sunflora lawn. That's all for me now. Good luck out there. So they're not in the lawn. They're just around the, uh, yeah, they're in the city somewhere. So, okay. Um, probably edit a lot of these searching out just so I don't look so bad. But, yeah, let's look for, uh, these flowers. Oh, here is one here in the jungle gym. Yeah, frame rate's kind of oof. You know what I mean? But, I don't know. I do enjoy it, but again, I don't think it would... Is that following me? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I just don't think it was, like, fully ready to be released, I guess. That's me. Oh, are these more? Why are they just out and about? Alright, so after battling that Sunflora, it's decided to join us, so... I guess we'll search for some more. Yeah, look at this. Look at the flowers and the textures, like, not really going well. You know what I mean? Like, this obviously was not ready, you know? Oh, but Whooper's evolving on a on a brighter note, a more positive note. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I tried to talk myself out of buying this game on release because I figured it was going to be buggy, but, like, I did like the look of it. So, I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't regret it because, again, I am enjoying it, but there is a lot of really big issues that you just can't ignore. Um, I am a little tired of people being a little, um, what it's like, ignorant in the Pokemon community. Like, oh no, it's fine, you're just picking problems. It's like, no, we're not picking problems. Like, it's actually an issue. Like, like you look, look at this, it's not optimized at all. Like, this is like, <laughs> it's crazy. But, you know, I don't think it's as, it's, I don't think it's as rough as Sword and Shield. I'll say that. But, um, it, it definitely is rough. Because I, I, I remember Sword and Shield, I had a few, like, instances of, like, the screen taking a while to load or something. But I don't remember it being extremely laggy. There was uh, issues with character animations and stuff, like, when they were playing with their phones on the train. But, like, compared to this, there's a lot more glaring, like, graphical issues going on here. And, oh, we're going the wrong way. Um, oh. <laughs> And also, do keep in mind, I am playing on an OLED, and I think the only thing different about an OLED compared to the original one is the screen. So, like, it's not going to be any... I see people, like, saying that, like, maybe you need to get a better Switch console. But from what I've heard from people, the only thing different from an OLED to an original Switch is the screen um, is better. And, like, it is a little bigger or smaller, I can't remember. But, yeah, they don't fit the same docks. But, anyways, what an unfighting these in Flora. You pass the gym test with flying colors. Now, please head back to the lobby at the Artisan Gym to report your results. Yeah, our, our Pokemon going out first is not good, but again, sorry to harp on the negatives so much, I guess, if you call it. But it is a valid criticism, I feel. We do need to, um, I hope people wake up with this game and realize, like, we need to start holding the company more accountable and stop buying it. Like, I know I bought it day one, too, but of course, um, you know, 
We need to all like come together and be like, yeah, no, they need to fix it. I hope they realize they messed up and they need to do better and stop getting away with just pushing games out and focus more on the quality of it. Because I don't know. In my opinion, we haven't had a decent game since the black and white era of games, like Gen 5. So, But Oras was decent. I will say that. I did enjoy Oras more than X and Y. You did well to come this far. I am Brassius, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I'm also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. The perception you displayed in fighting some four was truly... How shall I describe it? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. <laughs> I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk. We must begin creating our collaborative work of art. Yeah, I don't have a good Pokemon up front, but hopefully this guy doesn't either. I trust that you are ready. It's time for your masterpiece to take shape. All right, Pet Lil. So we might be able to actually take this on with the Sharkadet. Not sure though, but we're gonna try. And we're gonna go for an Ember here. Oh, we're hit by Mega Drain first, so he is faster. Not too surprised, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, we don't even do half damage though. We'll try. We'll keep trying though. I don't want to switch out uh, to Crocolore just because. Yeah, I do want to try to get our homie some battle time, some screen time, but she's just kind of, she just isn't hitting that hard. I, I get it, you know, it's, she's a, a basic Pokemon, but, uh, and we're asleep, so we're definitely going to switch out now. Jeez. That sucks. Crocolore is just going to probably come in and sweep this Grass-type team. I don't want to, like, skip over the gym battles, but again, when they're like this, where it's just, like, you're overwhelmingly beating up the gym leader, I don't know. I'm just like, eh, maybe... Maybe we should just kind of skim through it, but, you know, some people like to see the whole gym battle and all the battles, you know, in their entirety. Um, I started cutting out trainer battles. I know you noticed that probably. I used to, like, show them on my Let's Plays all the time, but I kind of cut those out because, yeah, they do take up quite a bit of screen time, and it's not really worth it. Like, nothing interesting is going to happen in a random trainer battle, right? So, there you go. But Pet Lil is out of here, and now hopefully it's just a, you know, smooth sailing here with Crocolore. Unless this final Pokemon is like the uh, first gym leader, in which that uh, the final Pokemon just has a different typing, but is Terra typed uh, to be Grass. Willow Wisp. Um, I have no idea if I want to learn this. Um... All right, so yeah, we got rid of Fire Spin for Willow Wisp. Um, I don't know. I don't like Fire. Uh fire spin that much as a move but small is up front i don't really like this pokemon too much like it, it sure it looks cool but again they look more i don't want to say that i don't want to say that because you know they look kind of like digimon that one looked like a neopet but again i don't think we can say that oh they stole that because like you know it's just a monster they're all monster collecting games right so you know they're all cartoony they all look a little oh we don't have our water type with us yikes um how are we gonna destroy the pseudo wudo I have no idea. Um, it's rock. Uh, is ground good against rock? I can't remember. But we'll try with a mud shot. With our, what is it, Quagsire? It's not a Quagsire. It's Clodsire, yeah. It's very different from Quagsire than I thought it would be. It looks really cool, though. Very tempted to keep it on the team over uh, a Zoomeril. But I do like the fairy water type combo more than, you know, the ground poison. So let's go ahead and hit with a mud shot and see what we can do. Um, oh! Truly Woodoo. Oh, so it's using Tereshi. Yeah, I should have known. It's just like Dynamax. They're always going to use it on the last Pokemon, right? Silly me. And Pseudo Woodoo is Tereshializing into his grass type form with the sunflower or bouquet of flowers on his head. But very cool looking indeed. Um, again, I just don't know how I feel about the Tereshializing. Like, sure, like, it's, it's different and it's like I do enjoy it more than, uh, what? Sword and Shield's Dynamax, but again, I'm just not a fan of, like, just putting a random object made of glass on their head. Like, I feel like it could have been cooler, maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's not very effective? Yikes. <laughs> and Claude Zara's Poison Point is hit just in time. Uh, we're also going to use Poison Tail to finish it off. I guess Terrestrializing changes the type to... That type, I, I, I didn't quite understand that. I thought it was just an attack boost for those types, but no. 
I guess it changes to a grass type because we were super effective using Poison Tail, which we normally would not have been. But that is the gym over with, so let's see what happens. Good job, Claude Zire. And, uh, you know, Sir. Ch Ch I already forgot. Charcadet and uh, Crocolore. Oh, what artistic tactics you employ. The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokemon's performance. Everything you did was owned to perfection. Our battle was, in a word, art. Indeed, we could call, uh, not call that a work of artistry, then nothing else in this world would be, could be labeled as such. Mouthful, uh. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? If you possess two gym badges, it'll be easier to catch a Pokemon up to level 30. And those Pokemon should follow your commands as well. Okay. To a fantastic trainer such as yourself, I would also like to offer this. A favorite of mine. TMO20. Uh, Trailblaze. Okay. It boosts your speed stat. Ah, my inspiration is overflowing as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me, and farewell. Cool, 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 cool. Pardon me, would you be the Cody I've been hearing so much about? Nimona had mentioned there was promising new face in the Academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I'm one of the Elite Four of Pokemon League. I also teach art classes at the Academy. So do tell me, young Cody. What compels you to collect these badges and strive to be a champion? Um, yeah, I want to be stronger. Or I guess for fun, really. Asked and answered. Thank you. Naturally, there is no single correct answer. All paths lead to Great Crater Paldia, then, as they say. You know your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all Paldian history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. <laughs> Look at his walk. He's got, like, <laughs> got a strut about him. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You'd be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I'd be thrilled to have you attend. And okay, cool. But yeah, I do think we're going to leave it off here today, everyone. Uh, we're going to heal up afterwards, of course, and put a zoom roll back on our team. But as always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Share around with your friends if you think they'd also enjoy this type of content. And as always... See you guys next time.